Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your iTunes library from one computer to another. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would recommend doing on your computer is definitely make sure you have it backed up your music library. So make sure it's backed up to the cloud or some external source. So just make sure you have it backed up and then we're ready to begin. In this tutorial, I should know we'll apply for Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 computers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon and just search for File Explorer. So go ahead and open that up. You can select the taskbar shortcut if you prefer, but we're just going to do it this way. And assuming you haven't changed the default download location for the iTunes Music Library, we're just going to follow along with today's tutorial. If you did switch the location, you're going to have to navigate to that area instead. But anyway, we're going to go underneath this PC on the left side. Double click on your drive where Windows or your programs are installed on. Most people probably should be the C drive here, so go ahead and double click on that. And now that we're under the local drive, you want to go ahead and select your users folder, so double click on that. And then double click on the user account that you have your iTunes library on. So my user account is called computer user, so I know it's very original here. And there should be a folder that says music. Go ahead and double click on that. And now finally, there should be an iTunes folder in here. Right click on it and then select copy. So you may have to select the little icon up here to copy it. You can also control C on your keyboard as well. So now that you've copied it, you want to go paste it into a flash drive or some other source. And then assuming we have done that, now let's assume we're on computer number two at this point. So I mean, I could change the desktop wallpaper, honestly. So let's just assume that this is our second computer here. So copied it from the first computer. This is our second computer. I just put in my flash drive. I'm going to go paste the folder I just copied from the other computer. So you see the iTunes folder. If you put it on a flash drive, you can do that. So now that we have the iTunes folder on here, you want to go ahead and open up your File Explorer again. So open up the search icon. Type in File Explorer. So go ahead and open that up. And now go underneath this PC on the left side. Go under your local disk where Windows is installed like we did before. So now you're going to go over and select the users folder. Double click on that. Go under your user account on this second computer. And then go into music. Double click on that. So you can see now we have two iTunes folders on our computer. We're going to so we're going to delete this iTunes folder on our new computer where we already have iTunes installed but there's no music installed. So please note that this will delete your iTunes library on the new computer, assuming there's nothing there, which there shouldn't be if this is a clean install. So you're going to right click on the second computer's iTunes folder and you're going to go ahead and delete that. So just go ahead and delete that. And then we're going to paste in the iTunes folder that we had from the first computer and just drop it into the music section here. And then when you go into iTunes, it should be able to pull directly from this folder for your iTunes music library. So pretty straightforward. Again, the only variables is if you save music in a different file directory, in which case you would just copy and paste from that section of your computer. But that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.